industrial mobile phone this project name is industrial mobile phone and this project is like uh, controlling of this board like this board is uh, M16C 62P 16 bit microcontroller board and this board is connected to GSM modem of si Simons TC35 and this modem is connected to this uh, microcontroller board using RS232 serial interface using RS232 protocol and this board is uh, can be controlled by using mobile phones say for example if I want to send some message or if I want to control this board or to monitor the status of this board this can be controlled by using this mobile phones so there are like two mobile phones here and one is authenticated to this mobile this board and the other mobile is not authenticated to this board which means like uh, we can able to control and monitor the operation of this board only by using this mobile phone not by any other mobile phones so I'm just going to show some simple demo here say for example now I'm going to show LED operations and this LED operation here there are 8 LEDs are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so operation of these 8 LEDs can be controlled by using this mobile phones I'm going to show some demo now <coughs> So here I'm going to send simple message to turn on these LEDs. So before that I will just uh, reset my board once. Yep. So I'm going to type the message LED. Um, sorry. Uh, if I want to turn off the turn on the LED of uh, one, two, three, four. Say for example, if I want to turn on the fourth LED, so I'm going to try LED four on. So I'm sending now. The message is sending to this GSM modem right now. Yes, the message has been sent. I'm, I'm waiting for the response here. Yes, so the LED operation is working. And say, for example, if I want to turn off these LEDs, and I'm going to send some message LED for O F F. Yep, and the message is sending now. And here I'm waiting for the response to turn off the LED. Yep, and the same demo I'm going to show using this uh, another mobile phones. I'm going to show here. I already stored the GSM number. Yep. And I'm going to type some message here to turn on the LED. LED four on. Yep. The text message is sending now. Yep. But here the modem will receive the message but it won't uh, yes the message has been received but it's not working because this board is authenticated only to this mobile phone and not other any other mobile phones and this is like a very good security features and say for example I'm going to show some simple test SMS if you, if you want to confirm whether the board is connected to this modem and the, the operation of this all has been working properly or not can be simply by pressing the C button and we can able to get some simple message here and that confirms the board is working properly and there is no problem in this development system so I'm pressing the button C now yeah. and here I'm waiting for some message from the GSM modem yes so GSM hello so it's like a um, confirmation of this mobile and the development board and GSM has been like um, all synchronized and in the properly working conditions and say for example if there is any problem in the board and in the working environment in the industrial place if uh, the workers has to report to any uh, higher officials or something then just they can press the buttons A and and like um, this mobile is connected to this board and I will get the call from this modem 
so i can like you know just answer the call and i can speak to the workers and we can just uh, ask what's the problem and we can like give the solutions or like uh, emergency or anything we can take some necessary actions so here i'm going to show now that i'm pressing the button a <coughs> i'm waiting for the call now no oh, yes so i'm getting the call now so i'm just attending the call yes and this is connected to this gsm modem is having the options like uh, audio out and then the audio in to the mic operation mic and the uh, audio output and this is connected to a simple laptop headphones and by using this like we can able to speak to the direct operators to this mobile so we can like you know if there is any problem or any solution or anything just we can just confirm by using this way and this is also one features and say for example if there is if the operator needs to confirm what's the temperature in the industrial or or if we want to check the temperature he can just simply send some message and he can confirm what's the temperature and he can find out everything easily so i'm just typing simple a message t m p r it it's like a temperature so i'm requesting temperature from my mobile phone from the, and uh, requesting the temperature to a uh, temperature of this development board from my mobile phone i'm sending it to now the message is sending now and i'll be getting the temperature message as soon as possible here i'm waiting for the message right now oh yes the message has been received and the temperature is 16 degrees centigrade yes let's pop on <coughs> this temperature is finding by using the thermistor which is connected to the analog channel of the microcontroller board and the next i'm going to show some simple examples of uh, motor rpm controlled motor and this is the simple dc motor this motor operations like forward up forward rotations or the reverse rotations or stopping the motor and running the motor can be controlled by using some simple test message this is like uh, say for example if the temperature is more and this fan is like a blower fan or something like that so by using this fan we can able to control the temperature or something like that or any other general purpose like it's not limited so if i want to turn on this motor operation say for example if i want to rotate the motor in the forward directions em or like oh, sorry em f forward em of forward rotations on o n on and in which speed we want to like rotate the motor so like um, m f on 5000 so i'm sending the message now and the message is sending here yep and here i'm waiting to more to rotate the motor oh yes the motor is started <coughs> and it's like in, in the five five thousand rpm and here i'm going to increase the motor speed here F on colon nine 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 nine. Yep, the motor speed will be increasing now. Yes, we can. In we can see that in uh, motor speed operation by just hearing the speed. And now I'm going to reduce the speed here. M F on colon to Say for example 2000 I'm sending here the motor speed will reduce gradually yes and it stopped and I think it's like a 2000 rpm is very low for this motor and this uh, speed of this motor like yes it's rotating very slowly <laughs> okay and this rotation is uh, the rpm has been found I'm stopping here now because I can't speak. Yeah, and this motor is uh, having one slot cut here, and this is passed to one optical sensors here, which is uh, 
connected in between these slots. So whenever this slot is passing to this optical sensors, the it it's count as a one. And if it's like a first, then it's one, and it's like two. So it's like accounting for per minute how much time this slot is passing towards these sensors, and that's like a RPM rotation per minute. That's how we will find it here. And we can, um, this motor is rotating, so I'm going to stop this motor. Still it's rotating here. Yes, slowly it's rotating and it will stop now. Clearly. Yep. Motor is stopped here. And and by using these techniques, we can able to store some uh, like important message in the EEPROM or we can request the proper time from using I2C protocol. We can able to get the RS, RTC date and time and we can able to store some important values or data in the EEPROM and everything can be controlled using this simple message techniques. And uh, hope you enjoy this video and thank you so much.